Evan and joining us now for more context on E. coli, our Nine News medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. So first and foremost, how do you get this infection? Can it spread? Is it contagious? Yes, it can be, in fact. So if you think about our gut, we have bacteria that lives there, including E. coli lives in our gut in healthy people. But this particular strain of E. coli lives more in cattle and in farm animals. It doesn't live in humans. So if you have either food that's been contaminated by feces from these type of animals like cattle or undercooked beef itself, you can catch it from a foodborne illness. And if one person has it, they can easily spread it to another person actually by not washing their hands after they go to the bathroom, touching their food or what have you. You can even catch it from going to a petting zoo if the animal is infected wow. and you don't wash your hands afterwards. I remember during COVID, we obviously would isolate originally, right? Yes. When, when someone in the family tested positive. Yes. Similar procedure here? Sort of, but not really. So you, I, you, if I'm sitting next to you and I have it, you're not gonna get it. But if I have any contaminated clothes, contaminated surfaces, I go to the bathroom and then you go to the bathroom after me and things haven't been wiped down properly, you could catch it. So what they actually recommend if you're living with somebody who has this is to use a separate restroom. Make sure you're doing really good hand hygiene, wash your hands. Don't let them cook the food or touch the food or handle it for at least 48 hours until their symptoms have cleared. And don't let them you know, near any small children because they're particularly high risk. If they have any sheets or any kind of material, make sure you wash it in really, really hot temperatures. And bleach kills this. So wipe everything down. And for cooking any meat that you've bought, make sure that it's really, really warm inside the, at least 160 degrees. It's really good information. What about some of our viewers that may be watching? They recently went to McDonald's. How do you know if you have it and what are the symptoms? And I know it can be from three to 10 days. Yes, exactly. So anywhere actually from one to 10 days, but usual is about three. And this particular strain of E. coli has two toxins. And, and what the toxins do, especially one of them, it's called Shiga toxin, Shiga one and Shiga two. So if you get a strain that has make Shiga one and two, it pops open the cells of the gut. So your diarrhea starts out as clear and painful. Okay. You have these abdominal cramps. You might have a little bit of a fever the first day, you might be vomiting, but then that clear diarrhea very quickly goes to bloody mm. painful diarrhea. And that's when you start to become high risk. So if you've eaten at McDonald's and about one to 10 days after you have either clear diarrhea or clear then becoming bloody, that's a high risk feature that you could be at risk for decompensation. And the people that we see sort of doing the worst with this are young kids under 10 and older people as well. In fact, the risk of young kids under 10 progressing to needing ICU is pretty high up to one in four. Wow. That's yeah. alarming. Yeah. You were mentioning the high risk categories of this. This can be pretty scary. And a lot of folks might think, oh, oh I just have food poisoning. That's not necessarily the case. Uh, no, not necessarily. And in fact, I would say if you are having any symptoms of bloody diarrhea, call your doctor. Now, unfortunately for this particular strain, you can't give antibiotics to clear it. You can't take Imodium. So don't go out and buy Imodium because that's actually gonna make things worse. That makes the toxin angrier because it traps it inside your colon. So you just kind of have to let it pass. But clear or bloody diarrhea means a phone call to the doctor, especially if you've eaten at McDonald's or know somebody else who has, and then making sure you really protect the others in your home as well. Life-saving information, Dr. Coley. Yeah, Thank you so much, as always. And we, of course, will continue to bring you updates on this outbreak as we learn more. You can find our full coverage on our free Nine News app and at ninenews.com.